I've never specifically buffed just one nation in this game, and I decided, you know, if we're gonna do that, we might as well go with the most meme country on the entire map, Om. It doesn't get any more meme -y than Om, and I don't even know why. We don't need answers. It's, it's just Om. Pretty sure you can find references to this place in just about every Parox game, even Solaris. It has its own solar system. Now this is definitely not gonna be easy. It's obviously not easy for a human player, but not even buffing an AI. Like it's gonna need. I think a lot of help to win here. It's surrounded by all sides in the Holy Roman Empire, and normally in most games it gets taken out and we don't even notice it. I don't know, maybe if they like become the emperor and they, they form Germany or something. I don't even want them to form Germany though. I want them to keep Ulm as they take over the entire globe. What makes this even more difficult is they're obviously smashed in the heart of Europe, so they're probably not gonna be able to get any colonies out here in the West, definitely not. They might have a chance of getting somewhere out here, a trade province or two, but even that's kind of unlikely. They need some luck in the beginning, and they gotta get some sort of provinces, but ultimately, they really need to hope that the big blue blob collapses. And they've been doing that a lot lately as of this update, so I think we can kind of count on that. Wow, okay, uh, it's officially been 40 years from the start. You can see some of the border changes, but not here. Okay, that, that's bad. Please, please don't embarrass me. Good news is, Austria inherited Burgundy. I'm not sure if that's entirely good news, but I'd assume so. France can't just come in here and start taking everyone out. Ming exploding is going to be pretty nice too, which is kind of a guarantee at this point, because that means most of Europe can eventually, if they survive to the end, get something out here in the coast, because it's just, it's too divided. No one can defend this stuff. And one thing that's going to help is I've obviously developed the hell out of this place, because that's the one thing they can do. I mean, they're, they got to kind of play tall in the beginning. They can't be a big, wide empire, and uh, that that's going to be nice. So this is probably going to be... Kind of the best province on the entire map and you know what just kind of looking around they do have the biggest standing army i mean they're not in a well uh, compared to some of their neighbors the ravensburg's doing pretty good and also they're next to ba who's this bavaria yeah bavaria that makes things difficult it's now been a hundred years since the start and as you can see not a whole lot of progress has been made uh although they're looking a bit better and they're surviving so that's i guess that's the most important part austria is also currently losing these lands so that didn't really last long which it normally doesn't france is probably going to get all of this aragon is annexed naples and they are still independent for now no weddings just yet i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for our HRE. Also, Ottomans not having a great time at all. This isn't good, and I'm assuming they're gonna have a tough game because the Commonwealth have formed. Also, Russia, Russia ain't doing nothing. Jeez, I might have to buff Ming. It, that might be more difficult than buffing Ulm. Honestly, at this point, it, it just might be. Not much of a surprise in the New World either. It's always gonna be like Portugal, Castile, France, the British, you know, whatever. But I'll let you know if anyone else surprising gets something over here. That's a sexy Croatia. Not used to that. Okay, as uh, I don't know if they've benefited from the fall of the Ottomans. I mean, the Ottomans haven't even fallen, to be honest. They're looking much better than they have in previous games. And Jordan with the perfect straight connecting the Black Sea to the Caspian Sea. Let's see if they hold on to this, because while well, Timmy's doing good, no one's up here to threaten him. I don't know, I like this. I don't know how I feel about this though. Oh, no. Okay, Spain, Spain is gonna kill everyone. I think, I think Spain might ruin everything. Ulm is actually starting to get it together though, but this is terrifying because they are right next to this monster nation. You know, it's weird. Castile annexed France before they even annexed Aragon. I don't know how that happened. Mamluks are looking pretty good, which means they're probably going to be a threat to the colonization out this way. There might be a little bit less land to go around because they're going to get some stuff. I don't know how it happened, but the collapse of Austria was pretty big for Ulm, and I think it might have been... Maybe the Commonwealth had something to do with it? I don't know. They're definitely the strongest over here at Theodora looking good. It's definitely not going to be a Russia. Doesn't look like it. What's going on with this Novgorod? We got a red Novgorod? Never heard of that. I think Korea might be acting as the new China here because they are looking immediately successful. Also, Japan's still very divided between these two. Ouch. I. Ouchie. I'm just going to call him Ouchie. I like that name. Portugal's in Australia, but they already have to share it with the Mamluks. So this is going to be a pretty divided continent for now until someone can unify it. I'm thinking this might have all happened a little bit too quickly for Castile. Maybe too early. See, they're not handling this very well at all. They're losing stuff to Ulm and Aragon for some reason at all oh, and Morocco okay I don't know it could be rebellions or anything which equally is bad they didn't really do much with the western hemisphere even though they had all this power and France wasn't in the game anymore they didn't get anything Ooh, really like a new Holland I like that new Holland Holland formed back in Europe by the way Norway's here but 
I'm assuming most of this stuff's gonna be gone. Newfoundland might eat that all up. And ouchie has arrived in Alaska. Ouchie, Ala Japanese Alaska. We should probably just call it that. Panhandle. They had a little panhandle. And these islands still are far from united. So I don't even know what exactly is going on. I think Korea is by far the sexiest out of all the East Asian nations. Memluks also already out here in Indochina. I don't know where the British are. Usually the British are supposed to be here by now, but that's not going on. And of course, this battle's still raging for Oceania, and I think Portugal might be slightly losing. You are losing the Shire, which is by far the most important. South America is pretty much filled up by now, and I mean, North America kind of is, the, I mean, there's gonna be no new players, at least. Unfortunately, Japan probably won't get any more. That kind of sucks. Wow, I thought for a second there, Milan was about to form Italy, but uh, no, Aragon still has the southern part. Aragon's done kind of amazing. I mean, they definitely have lost some stuff, but they're they're holding on. Ulm is still not the emperor of the HRE just yet, but obviously this little organization is expanding. Pomerania took out Denmark. I don't know when that happened. Also, all of Scandinavia pretty much is done. Sweden's just hidden up here because the Commonwealth also going crazy. I believe a lot of former colonies of Castile just gained their independence. So yeah, I mean, there's now Dutch Mexico. I don't even know how Dutch Mexico was a thing. That was New Spain for a while. Louisiana has uh, their their own thing going on and they are surrounded on all sides. California, so Portugal lost California. Brazil's independent too. So uh, I, I don't think it really matters. More than likely the British are probably gonna take over here. I don't think I've ever heard of this Madagascar nation before. Bets in Miss... Nope, not gonna pronounce that at all, but they're getting their coastline eaten up. That's unfortunate. Damn, Holland's out here too. So everyone's just eating up some stuff. The Egyptians, Brittany, Holland, the Portuguese. Portuguese have kind of given up though. I don't think they're gonna last much longer. Bam, and Castile's pretty much dead. I didn't think that'd be possible for them to take an entire strongest country in the game and just collapse like that. Morocco has formed this formable nation and they're looking like they're gonna have a really good game. Milan now might form Italy, although Tunis is gonna be their big problem at this point. Oh, come on, please do it. Please do it. Whoa, calm down there, Mamluks. You don't need all this. I can't even believe the British allowed you to do this. Where's everyone else? I mean, the French like to do this too, since France has been eliminated, that probably helps. Oh, and ouchie, ouchie saying, Ouch, pretty bad, because Korea is looking so amazing. I've never seen Korea look this good. They probably lost their colonies out in Alaska, too. That's sad. Oh, wait a second. Japanese Alaska did get their independence. Oh, please do good. Please. Well, I don't know how you're supposed to do good in a game like this, but I, I like, I just like that you're around. So Europe is looking unique. I think that's the best way to put it, unique. I mean, Ottomans, the Commonwealth, I don't know what the Commonwealth are doing. Uh, that's terrible, but Ulm is now the the main controller of like a lot of Germany and most of France and then you have like the former Moroccans coming up and just taking the peninsula again. Korea is only continuing to grow and I think I might have been wrong. Uh, I didn't ever expect Korea to become powerful and stop anyone else from grabbing this stuff. Although I believe Ulm is around here. If one, are one of these places Ulm? I think so. Yes, there you go. So they are here. They might just not stay here. It, it looks like, yeah, I don't think they're gonna keep it. India just ain't gonna do anything in this video. I mean, maybe Delhi, but because they've got this horde, there's always a horde from here that ends up like really benefiting from the fall of Ming. They usually just like keep a, a, just a death grip on this land and no one else can take it. Commonwealth still holding on, even though they are getting smashed. You know the Ottomans are giving them a lot of trouble. Also the Mamluks, I didn't realize the Mamluks got taken out. It's been a while since that's happened. Italy's looking pretty disgusting right now, but that's fine because it's made this whole thing totally worth it. That is Korea. Korea has three, three provinces in the Italian peninsula. Kimmy's gonna love this. North America's looking like it's gonna be pretty different because I think Louisiana might just come out on top. Normally it's Canada. I don't know why Canada wins every time up here. Or maybe California. California looks great. They're still taking out the Aztec natives, but I don't know. We'll see. I was gonna say, does Ulm have friends? But no, not really. Ulm doesn't have any friends, at least in Europe, maybe outside of Europe. No, barely that. Dang, they got a lot of little sprinkled provinces around the map. That's nice. And this is what I was worried about. Ulm has a lot of haters. Everyone wants to be a meme, but they can't be. Everyone is jealous of their meme status, but just ain't gonna happen. Unless Luxembourg shows up, that'd be the ultimate meme fight. Wow, okay, look at the Iroquois take over the entire east coast of the US. Who, well, Holland was here, that's it, maybe Spain, I don't know 
They must have some good friends or something. This is crazy. Are we about to see like another great Native American campaign? Oh no. And Korea is now currently being pushed out of China. They're completely collapsing. Ouchie might form Japan. How did they survive that? That's crazy. Korea had like land over here and they made this comeback. Also, the Mamluks have lost all their territory out here in Indochina and Southern China. Uh, this, this horde, I don't even know if it's a horde trans ox and yeah, they're, they're really good. What is happening, Iroquois Colombia? Iroquois Colombia, how? And Iroquois Cuba, Iroquois Yucatan Peninsula, <laughs> what is happening? Oh, now this nation is getting parts of East Africa and a lot of it. I don't even know how they did that. Uh, that could be big trouble for Ohm. The Omers are still doing stuff though. Is that what it, is that how you say it? Omer, people from Ohm can be Omers. The Omers, yeah, they're doing okay. By the way, Japanese Alaska still holding on, still just barely. Come on guys, at least, at least just make it to the end. I'd be so happy. I can't believe this, but this part of the map is not gonna unify. It is going to remain divided the entire time. Now, the Mamluks are still over here. They're also white now. How'd they get that? This Japanese nation is starting to have a little bit of trouble against the Horde, and the Horde is probably up there in the top three. Look at all this land. This is crazy. They also took out the Persians, so yeah, they, they might have won. The British ended up with the most land in the southern coast of Africa, and well, the Ottomans look sexy, but that's not what I care about. Ohm, Ohm did it. Ohm did it without forming Germany either. I think that's the key. I, I think that's the most important thing. I'm really happy because I thought they were going to form Germany in the middle of the video and we wouldn't be able to see the glorious Ohm Empire in its true name. Not going to lie though, Ohm kind of got outshined in their own video. And not only just because of the Iroquois, but because of South America too. That is two Native American nations that probably won the Western Hemisphere. I mean, it's Close. Yeah, I think they probably won the Western Hemisphere. Okay, and thank you. I'm just I'm just glad that Ohm won. I, that would have really been bad if Ohm didn't win, because <laughs> uh, I I th it was close. It was they were. Oh no, it wasn't really close. They they easily had the lead. Surprisingly, it looks like a couple of provinces have caught up to Ohm's development status. So that is I didn't even think that'd be possible because I I buffed them way too much. Here's culture. Nothing too shocking here for the most part, except maybe the resurgence of certain Native American cultures out this way. Uh, Protestant, they were Protestant the whole time. Anything else? No? Everything else is slightly normal. Uh, there is no HRE. That, that was actually gone, that like banned a whole long time ago. And uh, there you go. So finally, Ulm did something. I don't think we're ever gonna see this, so I wanted to do it myself just to, just to force it because we've done so many EU4 videos and I've been waiting for it to happen. So excited, we actually got to see it one time. And these Native Americans, didn't think that'd even be possible, so the meme status definitely rubbing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to the Spooktober patrons. LPC. Elijah Senpai. Lucifercation. Swiss Argo. Maxi G. Bonnie Day Fami. Cooter Donkey. Mr. Perk. Brandon Hinkle. Mega Fat Boy 2.0. The Hentai Lover. Militime. Sleeper 56. Birthday Daddy. Ballin' Like Stalin. Clovin. Free Cruise. Vincent S. Public Education. Pilofsky? Hey, Mikey. Thank you.